Hi guys, it's Inam Kafour here with the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone. Now I'm going to show you in this video how to replace the SIM card and micro SD card block on the Galaxy S3. And you may be wondering why I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, the reason for this is, in my personal case, I was using a SIM card adapter along the back of the unit where I had a nano SIM card and I put it in an adapter and I put it in the SIM card slot. Anyway, but while I was taking it out, I forcefully took it out and it bent the SIM card contacts. Now, I did bend them back into place, but what happens now is, A, there's a SIM card in there at the moment, but it doesn't recognize it. See, you get that in the notifications bar, and it says no SIM there. And secondly, the problem is, if I ring any number, it says not registered on network. So if I ring my mobile operator, it says not registered on network so the phone's not even picking up the sim card anymore this will void the warranty as you're going to be taking the phone apart so i'm just going to shut it down and i picked this uh, sim card block up for it's a refurbished one rather than a, a copied one and it cost about 10 pounds here in the uk so it's not too expensive at all so we're going to see how hard it is to replace it so the phone's now off so take the battery out and if i remove if I remove the SIM card, SIM card still works because I've tested it in another phone, so it's not that, it definitely is the phone. So if I bring that in so you guys can see, there you go, you've got the SIM card socket there and the micro SD card socket there. The contacts were bent outwards so you could actually see them. I did bend them back in by pushing them back, but they must be either bent or just totally disconnected, so we're going to replace this entire block. First off, phone's off, battery's out, SIM card's out. I'm also going to remove the micro SD card just in case that causes any damage. What we need to do is get a Phillips head screwdriver because we're going to be removing these screws along the phone. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Phillips screws along the back that we need to remove. So get a Phillips screwdriver as I have here. We'll get those removed. So that's the 10 screws now out. So we can try and prise open the, the casing. So what I'm gonna try and do is use the inside of the, the phone rather than outside with a, a flathead screwdriver. See if that will come off and it looks like, there you go. That is, it comes off surprisingly quite easily. So there you go. We just lie that down next to the phone. Now, here's the SIM card and micro SD card casing that we need to remove and you can see it's secured down with a screw there a Phillips screw so we'll get that removed okay screwdrivers out from there the rest of it is just clipped in around the sides so essentially I'm just gonna try I've prized open a little bit there the ribbon that goes in and there we go that's clipped off and you can see it's all loose now so here we go see if I can Oh, that's amazing that came off it's easier than what I thought so just like an expensive piece of Lego really you can see some of the contacts along there you can't even see they go two four six but there's only one in the middle that I can see that so that may be why it didn't work but hey hey we'll get rid of this okay so that's now so if we look at the new one compared to the old one whoops new one compared to the old one looks exactly the same apart from this one it's got some blue markings along the side rest of it is pretty much the same okay so the ribbon was in the corner see if that can slot back in at all and then it should click in so the ribbons clicked in See if we can get the flathead screwdriver along the sides just so that it clips in. Again, I'm only using the pressing it in on the sides, and it does clip in. Okay, so there's clips there, I can see, and pressed in the ribbon that's fine that's not going to move corner sides are there again two further clips there pressed in clicked in okay again another one on the side and there just click it in so it doesn't move 
just take a look at it just to make sure there's no so you can see one you can see clips there one two three four clips which are all in okay turn that around another clip there another one there another there ribbon is closed and stuck down okay so along the top another clip there another one there all along the sides there two there another two there and back around the other side another one there okay so that's done we put that down and again I'll just mention this does void the warranty so don't even attempt it if you don't want to void it just send it off to a repair place but I'm one of those people that if I can do it myself I will do but there's no point in paying someone else to do something that I can do so that's now in as well so what we need to do is get the case back on so I'll just show you the underneath of the case while I've got it off nothing spectacular there so we'll just get that clipped in It does click clip in around the sides, so just make sure you got it nice and tight around the sides, and then you can't even tell this side. I mean, that looks the same as what it did before, apart from the blue colouring, obviously. So again, all we're doing is putting the ten screws back as they were now. Okay, all the screws are back in now, so what we'll do is put the micro SD card back in. We'll put the SIM card back in. That's clipped in. And what we'll do is we'll put the battery back in as well. We may as well put the cover back on to be fair while we're here. And just switch it on. And while that's switching on properly, just make sure it's all clipped in. That's a block that we took out from the S3. It looks all fine and everything but didn't do much so we will just go into the S3 so picked up the Wi-Fi as I said the rest of the phone worked fine you just couldn't make any calls you picked up the micro SD card okay previously so what we'll do is that's loaded up it's on the Wi-Fi so we'll go into apps I want to see there you go connected to Wi-Fi I want to see if it can pick up the SD card so I'm gonna to go to my files and there you go it's picking up the external SD card uh, and you can pick up, you can see the various data files it's got there inside of it. Excellent. So if I go through to settings as well, you should also see the micro SD card slot from there under storage. So if you go to storage, there you go. SD card showing as total space 3.71 and there was nothing on it in the first place. So that works okay. It's recognizing it beautifully. So let's try calling someone. My mobile phone provider so 202 gets me through and is it gonna work let's put it on speaker Yay! Hello and welcome to O2. that's brilliant I'll get rid of that bring in the s3 back from the dead and that's how you uh, change the sim card and micro SD card slot or the module on the back of the galaxy s3 as I say this does void the warranty so don't bother changing it if you don't want to avoid it but I'm one of those people that if I can do it myself I will do and these days manufacturers make the phone so that technicians can fix them and what you gotta understand is technicians are just average Joes who've been shown how to change it so if they can do it I can do it and that's how you change it and you can see it works now as well any questions or comments that you guys have got hit them up down in the comment section down below there Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's free. And you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time. I'm going to go play with my S3 now. Cheers.